Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in as always, and welcome to another exciting it's installment of Midweek Waffle. Sorry for the delay. Last week, uh, hmm, yeah, took the GoPro and the Gecko and the Volta grip to work to do a rush hour ramble on a Friday, left it in the car, and when I went to get it, it was so hot, it wouldn't even turn on. Anyway, so here we are. Anyway, I am gonna be driving, but I've got some notes that I need to read. First of all, so I thought I'd let the car warm up sympathetically. I'm just leaving to go to the garage to get oil and filter change. Normally I have Fuchs, or sorry, Titan Race Pro S. 1050 but OP oils were out of stock of that this time so this time we've got Miller's Nano Drive CFS 1050 competition fully synthetic I'm sure Foz will appreciate that anyway the topic of this week's ramble one step colder plugs oh so I've been off this week and I spent two three hours per day monday tuesday wednesday reading about it trying to get it into my head oh it's a complex situation it's a complex situation i have to state for the record i'm not a mechanic um i am very technically minded i'm a button pusher for my day job but i am very technically minded so anyway here's what i collated and i apologize for reading some of it so i looked on a variety of different websites boostcontrolperformance.com they say running a colder heat range plug will reduce temperatures in the combustion chamber by wicking more heat into the cylinder head this reduces feedback knock and fine knock learning when running fuel tunes and it says they are recommended for all 2.5 STIs and WRXs over 280 brake we'll revisit some of that information in a minute Roger Clark Motorsport, I mean, I trust what they say. They say at RCM is the only plug we'll use for standard or modified Subarus, maximizing engine response and power potential. Ideally suited to turbo engines running hotter cylinder temperatures caused by increased boost. NGK recommend using one step colder plugs for every 75 brake horsepower increase. And the NGK website specifically states, colder plugs can remove heat from the engine, preventing pre-ignition and detonation. Good thing for Subarus. Anyway, so, <coughs> excuse me. Plugs, normally, I should have said this at the start, but plugs come in ranges, so you get heat ranges. And um, when my Forester, which is running 323 brake at the moment. Um, when it was in for servicing with a Subaru specialist, they mentioned to me, maybe you'd benefit from having one step colder plugs. I looked on Import Car Parts, another trusty, trustworthy website. And it said, you know, great cheap mod for when you're doing your ser normal servicing maintenance routine um, helps to keep the cylinders cooler so just double check that no it helps to keep the combustion chamber cooler must remember that anyway talking about that um, keeping the combustion chamber cooler when I was um, uh, reading up on websites a lot of the American websites they were saying they you know standard thing someone sort of chimed in saying oh i'll work for a spark plug manufacturer i don't think realistically the different types of core or the um, insulator can effectively pull down the temperatures of the combustion chamber it is a tricky one it is a minefield you can imagine on all the forums there's arguments and disagreements etc etc anyway mine went in mine went in and I've had no problems with the car running. It starts lovely, hot weather, mild weather, cool weather, winter. UK does get some cold weather. Um, starts lovely, engine response seems brilliant as usual. Um, 
I can't vouch for the combustion temperatures, but it certainly does feel like it's running nicely. Anyway, the pros for having one step cooler spark plugs. Reduced cylinder temperatures, again, in brackets on my notes and now, that is debatable. But what I have read on a multitude of different websites and feedbacks and discussions, etc., etc., it does say they are good for high boost applications. So if you're running higher than normal boost, having one step cooler plugs is a good thing. Specifically good for turbo cars, wouldn't make quite as much difference on NA cars. The cons of having them. They need changing more regularly. Now, this bit, I do totally understand. Because they're not getting as hot, if you think back to the older days in the 80s when your parents were out once a month or once every three months pulling the spark plugs out of their old um, Cortina or Granada, uh, if you were a Ford person, and they were um, inspecting the plugs, comparing them to the pictures in the back page of the Haynes manual, they would then rub them with a wire brush, well, check to see if there's oily deposits, black, sooty deposits, or if they're white, indicating various states of play within your engine combustion system. Um, then they would rub them down with a wire brush and then check the gaps in the Haynes manual and then use a set of feeler gauges to set the plug gaps accordingly and then put them in and be good for another one month, two months, three months. Well, plugs apparently have to get to a very specific temperature in order to burn off the deposits. Okay, so that's why when you have normal range temperature plugs in your Subaru, um, they get to that temperature um, and they'll last say 60,000 miles and that's their service interval. When you go one step cooler plugs, one of the cons is that they are more prone to fouling because they're not getting as hot and they'll need changing more regularly. I don't really care about that personally. I don't care about that personally because, you know, I mother the life out of the Subaru and she gets whatever she needs, whenever she needs it. Anyway, one part I did understand, and again, I will state that, um, excuse me, we can start driving now. I have an appointment to get to, I need to get to the garage. So let's just get out and get on the roll. Car's nice and warm. So this is one bit that does make perfect sense in my analytical, technical mind. So, one thing I read that does sound totally plausible. We're saying if you're running high boost and therefore your cylinders, sorry, your combustion chamber's getting particularly hot and the tip of your standard plug is getting boiling hot, it is possible that the heat of the spark plug tip can cause pre-ignition, i.e. the fuel in the combustion chamber ignites before the spark plug even sparks. Pre-ignition, detonation, bad. So that part makes sense. You know, but this, they were saying, this is if you're tracking the car, driving the car like a maniac all the time. Now, I don't, as I say, I mother the life out of the car, but I do commute regularly around the M25 and I'll be sitting sometimes almost stationary for 45 minutes so in my head I'm thinking well the car's running higher than normal boost check um, it is running not to say uh, 50 60 70 brake horsepower more than standard check and on occasion it does get jolly hot so one step cooler plugs made sense in my mind and if it can help prevent pre-ignition, that can only be a good thing, which would probably explain why on the American forums where they're using like cob tuning ports and then going for a dyno, etc., etc., a lot of people, a lot of respondents on the discussion said on a 300 brake horsepower car, just by changing to one-step cooler plugs, 
they could get 20 brake horsepower more on the dyno. And that kind of makes sense to me. That kind of makes sense. Anyway, as I say, I'm not an expert. This is just a collation of the information I've found. Someone I trust recommended I fit them. I did. The car has no, there's been no negative sides of it, sides to that uh, process. Um, it's still running lovely, it pulls like a train, it's very responsive, etc, etc. Now, oh, and that's the other thing I meant to say, let's have a discussion in the comments. Let's, let's, let's pull in the experts. Let's all have a discussion in the comments. Anything you think I've said is mental or needs adjustment, maybe we'll collate some data and do a part two to this. We can do a part two once I've collated more information. Anyway, that's it for that one. One step colder plugs work great in my car. Whether it provides cooler combustion chamber temperatures is debatable, but if they're a preventative item that helps prevent pre-ignition and therefore detonation, that's a winner, as we all know. But when you're on the having a dyno run, that's what you're sort of finding that balance between uh, pre-ignition, detonation, etc. etc. And you want that sweet spot. So if having one step cooler plugs allows you to push that envelope slightly further, it's a winner winner. Anyway, love to see your comments and discussion in the comment section. And I'm probably going to record another one once I get the car back from the garage because I've got a bit of time on my hands. And if you're enjoying the content, please consider a like, subscribe, and smash that bell button so you get notifications when I put up new content, which are going to be coming thick and fast today. I've got a few stored up on the GoPro that I recorded when I was on holiday, um, and there wasn't a good enough Wi-Fi signal or a data signal in order to upload them. Anyway, thanks for watching as always. Take care. Look forward to seeing your comments below. Bye-bye.